Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Font Scroll to convert a standard TTF font into a web based font, a WAF font in particular. So, what you need is a TTF file. I've got one here called Raconteur NF, um, it's a true type font file. So, you go to fontsquirrel.com. They have a number of free fonts that you can download that are already in web format but if you have a very particular font you want to use like you're working for your your boss and your boss has a particular font that's used for the identification of the company you'll want to use a tool like this so you're going to go to generator and then you're going to upload your font you may upload pretty much as many ones as you want um, do remember that this is a free site so don't overwhelm them so i'm going to upload rock and tour if i open up more than one it will work the same except the files will be bigger so you open that. There it is. Um, pick rep optimal here. Now they do ask you if the fonts are legally eligible for web embedding. That's on you. If you're using a font that's that you have to pay for, the person who made the font legally owns it. So if you use it on a website that's popular or making money, the person can come after you for damages. So make sure you have legal permission to use the font before you use it. I'm going to check on yes for this example. I'm going to download my kits. This will take a moment as it converts all the glyphs over to a WAF file. Save it somewhere. Give it a good name. Whatever, remember. And it tends to go to downloads unless you tell it to go somewhere else. Extract it. And there are things you'll need. You'll need these files. Notice I left this style sheet here. I'm going to copy that and go to my fonts folder for my projects. I recommend putting them in the fonts folder just so it looks good. So here I have my WAF files. These are web fonts. I don't have to keep the TTF fonts here. Um, it'll just clutter up space in your website if you move them up there. It's your call. Back in downloads, I have some CSS and information I can play with. So when I open this up in Notepad, I get a nice generated font scroll, and they write for me a font face, which sets up everything for the fonts. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that into my CSS documents. Since I put my font into a fonts folder, you need to put that URL here. Font slash. Font slash. And now this font family name is currently named Raconteur NF Regular. If that's too long of a file name, feel free to shorten it up. But this line right here is what we'll use to set our fonts. So my document currently looks like this. I got this text from webfx.com, and it's just a bunch of lore riffs and stuff. When I add the font, I'm going to change my header fonts. So I've copied this line because that's the line I'm going to use inside of my selectors. Save it. Go back and refresh. The fonts clearly changed. I'm not sure if this is a good web font, but it certainly is visible enough that you can tell I made the change. All right, so that's how you use uh, Font Squirrel to convert a true type font into a web font.